We're celebrating Veterans Day today, honoring the brave men and women who served. Newsmax correspondent Sarah Williamson joins us now to talk about one nonprofit organization helping returning soldiers overcome their injuries. Sarah. Katrina, that's right. A lot of these veterans, or most veterans, when they return back from service, whether it's combat, they're in combat or not, they haven't necessarily been trained on how to integrate back into society. And a lot of them, whether they're suffering from PTSD or just struggling with getting back into their normal, everyday life, they really struggle with that integration. Now, I spoke to a man named Eric Pauly, who runs a uh, organisation called Operation Pay It Forward. And they have been working really hard at uh, helping these veterans get their life back to normal. Let's take a look. We see you, we respect you, we value your service. This Veterans Day, we celebrate those who served this country. We don't see it as we did something exceptional, we see it as we did something that we were born to do. Those who left knowing their lives will never be the same. When our servicemen and women come back from combat or from serving even without combat, they have a sense of uh, kind of losing their family. They miss that brotherhood, that sisterhood. And it's often compounded by PTSD in that uh, combat time that they had. Operation Pay It Forward was formed to help some veterans overcome the demons they brought home from combat, helping them heal in the outdoors and the camaraderie that comes from hunting, hiking, enjoying life again. So we're gonna go investigate. Eric Pauly's initiative came to fruition after 9-11. A veteran himself, he felt inclined to help those returning from war, not being given the assistance they needed. Our servicemen and women don't deserve our pity or charity. These combat veterans are fighters and warriors. They deserve our appreciation and a path to transition back to civilian life. Hunting is something that's shared pretty widely among military members. Uh, and for us to, to get outside, and not all hunting, but get outside, experience the outdoors, but also do it together. We have a track. We have a bunch of tracks. And some of those are ours. Our own Carl Higby, a former Navy SEAL and veteran of the Iraq War, speaks of the hardships of integration. The transition process from active duty military back to the civilian sector is, is probably the hardest thing. You know, you train for war, you train for basically every scenario. The one thing the military doesn't prepare you for is going from a unit cohesion that is so tight that you literally die for each other to the general work environment. So for the veterans that have returned home, now living their civilian life, it is important to express gratitude. And veterans, not just today, but every day. America thanks you for your service. Yeah, so you can see there that these programs really do mm -hmm. make a difference to these veterans, and it's important that there is a number of these organisations around to really help them. Uh, Eric has, when he started Operation Pay It Forward, it was a small organisation based in Utah, and now when I spoke to him only yesterday, he was explaining now that he, they've opened up their second uh, ranch wow. out in Texas now. They have this huge property now where they are opening up a big ranch for uh, veterans and their families to come and take some That's respite so for places for people to come there. So it really is... Um, important that they have these organizations and Very they have important. seen a lot of success. Uh, Sarah, quickly before we let you go, um, some of the people who have gone through these programs, um, how are they doing now? They're, they are doing really well. They, they, that's what they need to do is to go out into the outdoors. They offer a, num a range of activities and um, whitewater rafting, um, hunting as we saw, uh, just uh, Climbing, so mountain climbing, climbing. it's just the camaraderie, mm -hmm. going out back with other veterans yes. and learning how to get into their life together. So yeah. it really does help them integrate when they are integrating together. Right, it's like you're rebuilding your team, but not in the military, with people, but in real with life. like-minded people who understand yes. what they're going through. Exactly. All right, great report, Sarah. Thanks so much.